Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Um, following the Switzerland tour, I thought it might be worthwhile making a video setting out how much the Swiss Alps tour actually costs. Uh, and that might help anybody who's thinking of doing a similar tour uh, in the future. So just to give you some, uh, some background, the tour took place over nine days um, during the last week of May and the first week of June of 2023. Uh, two of us went on the tour. It was uh, Paul on his Kawasaki Z900 and me on my Yamaha Tracer 9 GT. Now, any fuel costs uh, that I'm going to read off to you are for the um, Tracer 9. However, the costs for Paul's Z900 were, were very similar. We fueled up pretty much at the same time, uh, every time. So, um, the only things that are not covered here are the uh, details of cost detail that include um, items uh, like meals, drinks, snacks and sundry items they're not included in this estimate so um, well, it's not an estimate it's a uh, it's a true reflection of the uh, of the costs that were incurred so uh, let's have a run through the tour costs so uh, setting off on day one <clears throat> which was sunday the 28th of may uh, in 2023 our accommodation was a twin room at the uh, swan hotel in hythe and that was 70 pounds uh, the fuel on that first day for the Yamaha was £32.42 pence, and um, I'll include the Eurotunnel uh, return fares here as a one-off which was £139. So moving on to day two, uh, our accommodation was twin room B&B uh, &B uh, at the Campanile Metz Nord Hotel and that was B&B &B, and that cost us £89.65. Um, and again, the fuel for that day was £38.93. pence. So uh, tolls, we started to incur tolls as we went through France. Uh, tolls for the, uh, for the Monday were £19.31. Pence. So on days three, four, five and six, we were actually in uh, Wilderswil, the Swiss Alps, where our accommodation was in Wilderswil. Uh, and that's Tuesday the 30th of May to Friday the 2nd of June. 23 uh, um, so all this so this is for all the days spent uh, touring around the Alps so accommodation for four nights at the Baron Hotel in Wilderswil bed and breakfast uh, came to 704 pounds and 82 pence uh, the fuel while we were in um, the Alps uh, for the tracer was 70 pounds and 14 pence tolls getting us down on the Tuesday through France and into Switzerland were £11.63 and the Swiss vignette for the uh, for the roads and motorways in Switzerland cost £35.76. So day seven was for Saturday the 3rd of June 23 uh, we began the return home and we had an overnight at the Semacourt Hotel Metz uh, which was £54.53. pence. Fuel uh, was £43.19 for the, for the Tracer and the tolls to get us there were £9.66. Uh, day 8, Sunday, was when we headed back up through France to Calais and then caught the shuttle back over to Hythe and that's Sunday the 4th of June, uh, 23. Uh, we had a twin room a bed and breakfast at the Red Lion Inn in Hythe and that was £115. Uh, the fuel for the Yamaha was £34.45 and the tolls were £28.47. And then Monday, the final part of the trip, which was returned back from Hythe up to the Midlands, was just fuel, which came to £27.76 for the Yamaha. So looking at the totals, um, the accommodation, uh, two of us sharing, came to a total of £1,034, which divided by two was £517 each. Uh, the fuel for the Yamaha, uh, uh, £246.89, so Paul would have had similar. Uh, tolls um, for the entire trip, £69.07, Paul's would have been the same. Uh, the vignette, £35.76, so we paid for that one of those each. 
uh, and the shuttle return fare 139 pounds which we, uh, we we each paid our own uh, shuttle fares and then I had European breakdown cover which was 55 uh, RAC European breakdown cover which was 55 pounds 62 for the duration of the tour uh, so that comes to a total of a thousand and sixty three pounds thirty four uh, adding on to that probably approximately two hundred and fifty pounds for meals uh, evening meals uh, probably lunchtime snacks and sundries and drinks uh, we, we look about 250 so I'd say you're looking in the region probably if you want to do a tour like this uh, nine days the, the distance we did which was about 2050 miles door-to-door you're looking at, uh, at probably something around about £1,300. Um, it was worth every penny. I really enjoyed it. I would very likely go back again. And uh, Paul feels the same. I think it was reasonable value. The hotel, the Baron Hotel, was a lovely hotel. So, uh, yeah, highly recommended and very hospitable. And, and nice food as well. So we ate there a few, a few nights and ate out a couple of, a couple of nights while we were there. So there you go, uh, hope you found this video useful, uh, if you have any questions um, please drop them down in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Um, and uh, if you did like the video um, please consider leaving a thumbs up, that would be very welcome. If you like this sort of thing, uh, motorbike touring videos, uh, short ride outs, um, motorbike related stuff really, anything like that please consider subscribing you we really would welcome you to the uh, to the little uh, family that we've got going now of, uh, of subscribers and people who are interested in what we do and uh, and that would be great <clears throat> so I'll sign off now and say uh, if you have stood to the end I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and uh, hope to see you again soon in the not too distant future for some more videos so uh, until then take care cheers